Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hotel Management System project tutorial for beginner. So in the previous tutorial, we added this login and register functionality in our project. In this tutorial, we're going to integrate admin dashboard or admin template in our project. So let me just log into the admin dashboard. So here in the email, we'll say here admin at the and we'll give the password on 345678 and then click login. So here in the email, we'll say here admin at the rate of gmail.com and we'll give the admin password on 2345678 and then click login. So it will take us to the admin dashboard as you can see. So right now we're going to add a admin template over here. So for it, uh, we need to download the admin template. So here I'm going to download this admin template and I'll give this template download link in the description so that you can also download it with me. So in order to download this template, you first need to come to this link and then here you can see the code option. We'll click on code and here you can see download Z. So we'll click on download Z and there you can see it started downloading and the download is complete. So right now, if we click on this showing folder, it will show us the downloaded zip file over here. So we'll just cut it from here and we'll paste it in new volume T over here. So we'll just paste it over here, control V. So right now we need to extract this zip. So we'll just click on the folder and then we'll click here, extract all and we'll extract the zip file in new volume D. So we'll choose D and then click on extract. And there you can see it is extracting and the extract is complete. So right now let me just open the admin template how it will look. So here you can see index. So all template start with index. So we we'll click on index, double click on it and this is how our admin dashboard look. So we are going to indicate this template in our admin dashboard Laravel project in our Laravel project. So uh, for it, what you need to do first is that uh, we'll just go to our project location and we just directly go to the public folder. We'll go inside the public folder and here we're going to create a folder called admin. So let me just create a folder over here. So I'll just right click and then click new and then click on this folder icon and here we'll name it admin. That you can see admin. So after this, what we will do is that we will copy every file from the template, admin template and paste it in that public admin folder. So let me just copy everything from here control C and we'll go to our project public and admin folder. So we'll go inside the admin folder and paste every folder and file that we just copied from the template. So there you can see. So right now let me just go to my code and here if you go to the public and then the admin folder, there you can see inside the admin folder we have index.html and all the folder and files. So right now what we are going to do is that, uh, let me just show you. If you go to resource, views, and in the admin folder, there you can see we are returning the admin to the index.blade.php and here you can see we have the admin dashboard text over here. Uh, then we can see over here and some other things are coming from this index.blade.php. Okay, if you do not remember, let me just show you. Uh, if you go to app, then HTTP, then controller, in the admin controller for admin login, we are sending the user to the admin.index file. So uh, if you go to resource, here you can see admin.index. So right now what we are going to do is that we will uh, go to the admin folder in the public folder and we'll copy everything uh, from the index.html. So let me just copy it, control A, control C and we'll paste it in our admin resource views admin in blade.php over here. So control A, we'll remove everything from here and we'll paste whatever code we copied from our index template. So paste it over here. So right now, if we set this, then if we now refresh here, there you can see dark admin template and the CSS is not working. The reason is we have put CSS fonts, images, JS, everything in the public admin folder. We did not put those directly in our public folder. We just created a folder called admin and we keep all the admin folder, CSS and everything inside the admin folder. So right now what we need to do is that, uh, let me just go at the top and here you can see href. So before this href, we need to mention our folder name, which is admin in the public folder. So we're going to say here, 
admin slash like this so we need to do it uh, for every link over here so we will just select every href uh, over here uh, not the link this is a link so we do not need to give admin slash for this so we we'll again select this this all this all and we say here admin slash then we'll go down and we'll come to this if session and here we'll select everything over here again and we we'll say here admin slash so let's save it and right now if we just refresh here there you can see we're about to see the admin dashboard properly and the image is missing because uh, for the image we also need to uh, mention the admin before so let me just go at the top again and here you can see at line uh, around 54 we have the image source so we'll say here admin slash save it then refresh so here you can see the image is missing for this profile so we also need to mention the admin slash before this image so here you can see mark stephen so let me just search for in the port mark stephen so control f control v and here you can see mark stephen so before this image source we are going to say here admin slash save it then refresh here and there you can see the image is back so if there is any image missing we just need to give admin slash uh, so i'm not going to do it for every image uh, so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to separate every section over here so we'll uh, keep the header section sidebar section and the body section in different part so right now let's go back to our port again and let me just separate the css file so here you can see head section so we're going to copy everything in the head section uh, so we we'll press ctrl x and right now what we're going to do is that in the admin folder views admin folder we're going to create one more file and we'll name it css.blade.php control s and then save and whatever uh, css code we copied from the head section we'll just paste it over here so control v control s so right now if we set this everywhere and then if we refresh the css on or there you can see the css is not working properly and for it what we need to do is that here uh, we keep everything in the css.blade.php so here in the head section we say at the end of include to first bracket to single quotation and here you can see admin folder so we we'll say here admin dot and our file name is css so we we'll say here css so right now save it then refresh here again and there you can see css is working properly so right now uh, first let's go and separate the head section header section from here so for it let's go back and here you can see the header section so i'll cut the entire header section from here let me just go down and here you can see the header section ended at line 148 so ctrl x so right now if we save this then if we now refresh here there you can see the header section is missing so right now we'll click uh, right click on the admin folder then click new file and we'll say here header dot blade dot php control s and save so let me just remove this and whatever code we copied from the header section we we'll paste it over here save it here and then in the index.blade.php we we'll say at the end of include to file bracket to single quotation and we will say here admin dot header because our header dot blade dot php is inside the admin folder that's why so save it again refresh and there you can see the header section is back so let's do the same thing for the sidebar and the body part so right now we cut the sidebar section so here you can see sidebar started over here and it ended over here here you can see sidebar navigation end so before this uh, we have a deep class so we'll also copy this deep class so we we'll start from this deep class and we'll go down we'll go down up until this part we we'll cut this from here control x then save it here right now if we just refresh here there you can see the sidebar is missing right now so uh, right now what we do is that we say here at the top include to first bracket to single quotation we say here admin dot sidebar save it and let's click a 
Let's click on the admin folder, then click new file, and we say here cipher.blade.php, frontal s, and save. So we'll paste whatever code we copied from the sidebar section. We save it here and here. Then refresh again. And the sidebar section is back. So let's just do the same thing for the body section. Here you can see the body section will be this part. So for it, let's go back and the body section is quite big. Before we uh, do it from the body section, let's just separate the JavaScript file first and the footer section as well. So we start from the footer section and the skip part together. Control X. So we'll just cut the footer section and skip section together and we we'll say here at the top include to first bracket single quotation admin dot footer. Save it here. Click a file, click on admin folder, then click new file. We we'll say here footer dot blade.php control s save remove this paste whatever code we just copy save it here here again then we we'll refresh here and everything is working properly so right now let's go back to our code and separate the body section so we we'll write now copy everything from here about in this part control x and here we are going to say at the end of include to first bracket single position admin dot let's just say here body admin dot body save it click on admin click new file and then here we are going to say body dot blade dot php control s and save let me remove this and paste whatever code we have copied from the body section so right now let's save this Okay, let me just show you if we do not give this include admin.body. So we'll remove this, save it. And if we now refresh here, there you can see the body section is gone. But if we just write our cat include admin.body, then save it, then refresh, there you can see everything is back. So we are able to perfectly separate the header section, sidebar section, body section and also the css and javascript and footer section as well so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll add some option like so in the next tutorial we'll have an option over here like hotel rooms and we'll have a option called add rooms and admin will be able to add rooms to the database table so thank you very much for watching if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe i really appreciate that and i hope to see you in the future tutorials